Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Sunday the 16th of February 2025. I hope you are keeping well, enjoying life. I've just got back with the cat from the animal hospital for his latest checkup and he still has vestiges, tiny vestiges of the uh, infection that he has bugged him for the last 13 months, I think it is now, 12, 13 months, something like that. So. He's got to stay indoors for another month and finish off the medicine, but hopefully this will be the last uh, set of medicine. I'm, I'm really hoping so. And so is the cat, because he looks mournfully out of the window every day. He sits behind the curtain looking out of the window, dreaming of the day that he'll be able to run around outside again. Ah, uh, poor thing. Um, what's going on? In the UK, um, Britain's energy providers have had to pay back or oh, paying compensation more than 20 million pounds over the last five years uh, that's because they've sent out bills that you know have been uh, incorrect and when challenged they have uh, realized yes they have made a mistake and had to repay but that's what they've been challenged on I wonder if you know how many people just pay the bill without ever challenging which is probably I mean I, I don't think I ever challenge bills or almost never challenge bills um, unless there's some particular reason for it, um, just you just I just generally go ahead and pay immediately, right? So, and I think m probably most people do the same kind of thing. So, who knows what they're getting away with? Uh, not just are they uh, money factories, um, and you know since privatization, money factories for the rich, uh, but they also seem to be uh, less than. I won't say less than honest, but less than scrupulous in their dealings, let's say that. All right, uh, this is the Los Angeles Times expert level Sudoku puzzle, third for the day. I set out a couple of uh, other videos this morning, one with uh, a story behind it, or a story attached to it, I should say, and uh, eight in this square here. And if you're worried that you, you, you're looking at a channel with a homicidal maniac, I can promise you I'm actually a pacifist. I don't believe in violence. Definitely don't condone assassin, uh, condone murder or anything like that. Although I think that I might, uh, uh, there's a proviso there. I think the person who invented the, um, uh, what's it called? I don't know, the decorative garden breeze block is how I'm going to describe it. My garden uh, wall has kind of decorative bricks, is made of decorative bricks. We've got two blocking across here, so two in one of these squares blocking back, two back here and two up there. My garden wall is uh, made of a kind of decorated bricks. How can I explain it? They're kind of um, molded uh, in the shape of, I don't know, like teardrops and curls or something like that. And since I've been in this house for eight years and they've never been painted, I thought I would do some painting myself. Oh, man, they are impossible to paint. Really, really annoying and difficult and time consuming. I'm still not finished now. So I've just realized two, six and eight. Oh, no, two and six across there. I apologize. Two, six, two, six up there. That's what we've got. Two and six in a pair there. Uh, what else do we know? Anything else? Two, six, uh, one, four up there. Seven, uh, not a lot else. Okay. Sevens block up this way. Excuse me, I'm talking about that square there, which gives me seven here. Six blocking up here, put and six across here, put six into this square here. Six down this way, down here, and across there. There's a six. Six across, across, and down there. Mm. 
one blocking this square and this square and we need a one in this row so it must go there the remaining digits for the row are four and seven and so what we're left with is not four or seven it must be five nine and three so we do have five blocking this square so that puts fives in these squares so five blocking down down and that gives me a five there five blocking this square five blocking this square so in this column there's a five nine blocks this square so in this column there's a nine we'll finish this column with one one blocks across there there's one missing digits here are eight and four so four blocking down there's the four there's the eight eight down here eight across there there's our eight two blocking down here there's two uh, it means we can get this can't we what's missing from here we're looking for three and five in those squares so this is one now one across here now if you remember I said this is six and two right six two blocking across and up so that's going to be our one one blocking down here one across there one across there there's our one one down here one across there and one across there there's one in that square and that's the last digit one five and nine block this square that puts five and nine into those squares and gives me a three there three across here across there and down there this was two and six so what is left to go there it's going to be four seven nine we've got nines there we've got fours in the outer squares because we've got four here seven I'm not sure four seven nine so what are we left with in these squares uh three and five yeah that's three five there so it also means that this square here can't be three or five shall we investigate just in case it's not one two it's not three it's not four it's not five it's not six it's not seven it's not eight it's got to be nine okay because of our unique rectangle rule there <coughs> so that gives me nines like this In fact, we've got six and nine blocking this square. We've got six and nine blocking that square. So that's a pair of six and nine. And these are not six or nine. They must be f four and seven. So seven blocking there. There's the seven. There's the four. Two blocks this square here. So that's the two for that row. Back over here for a three. There's one more number to get up there. What are you? Are you a four? I think you might be a four. Four, 
five blocks this square there's our five five blocks across here there's a five this will be three that will be three three blocking down here and three up there puts three into that square missing numbers down here are seven and eight I think so eight blocking across there there's the eight there's the seven two blocks this square we need a two in this row so that's the two that row is finished with a four seven blocks across here there's the seven this will be a five five across this way there's our five the missing number here is nine nine back that way there's our nine the missing number here is four all right not a lot to go now actually let's click on the digits that we still need see if we can find anything without too much of a headache <coughs> five up here down here and across there eight across here and down there and uh, the missing number for this column is what mm. seven I think okay two across here and up there so there's our two then two up here up there and across there six blocking across there there's our six six down six up there's a six six across this way there's a six uh, nine is missing from here we'll take the nine across that's a nine nine up there nine up there there's a nine it's been a very straightforward game hasn't it uh, nothing difficult at all with this one seven blocking up to the top there's a seven uh, missing digit here is four four in both places that's it super fast that one thanks for joining me I'll see you around take care bye bye